Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Another beautiful day out here in South Florida to share with you beautiful people. Now, if you look behind me on the floor, you see I have a box. I just got my shipment of rodents. So I'm gonna go throw them in the freezer, thaw a couple of them out. We're gonna feed some snakes today. I got some snakes that were sold to some amazing people that are still here because it's cold. It's too cold to ship out, so I'll be feeding those too. But I'm gonna go grab a nice cup of coffee that I just brewed, and we're gonna get this video started. So the coffee tastes really nice. I'm starting to feel that little tingle in my blood. Getting ready to make this video just what I need. Now I got a lot of beautiful snakes and I know you beautiful people want to see them eat. So we're going to get to it. I got the rodents. They just thawed out. So I'm going to grab them and we get into this video. Alright, so this is a baby female from Paprika and Riddler's Clutch that hatched out last year. Now all of the clutch is sold. This is one of the girls that sold to somebody, but they live in Chicago somewhere. And it's really, really cold out there, so the shipping just wouldn't work out. So I'm going to hold on to this girl, get her nice and plump, and then hopefully after winter we ship her out so you see right here i got a nice nice and warm pinky she looks interested she's smelling it boom she got it so here's a closer look at female number one from paprika and riddler's clutch i'm so happy that this girl is going to a great home and she's growing beautifully Alright guys, so now I'm here with one of Sahara and Mojave's babies, the Tarahumara Mountain Kings. Now this is female number two, and this girl is going to the same people that I just showed the last snake. Also going to Chicago now. Take a look at how beautiful this snake is, just amazing. It's a little dim in the room, but you could see the markings are so bold on this girl. I really love this girl. We're gonna try and feed her off the tongue. Usually, she's a little timid, so let's see if this works. All right, so I got the pinky right there. This girl's usually a little shy. She'll eat, but not very aggressive with it. I could see she's smelling it. It looks like she might go for it on camera, off of the tongue on my hand. Boom! She got it. So here's a better look and better lighting. Female number two from the Tahara, Humara Mountain Kink Snake Pearing, Sahara and Mojave. Look how vibrant the colors are, how nice and bold those blacks around the saddles are. Just a beautiful, beautiful snake. And probably one of the calmest of the king snakes. Really, re really easy to take care of. Going to a great home in Chicago. Once things warm up, beautiful snake. I don't even want to let this one go, but I can't keep them all. So I'm having a blast doing this video, just hanging out with you guys. Now I got something special for you. A couple of months ago, I got an extreme high white reverse Oka tea from Lee Abbott on the Deli Cup. He marked Incredible just to describe her. So I decided to name her Incredible. The name fits. She's amazing. I'm going to feed her real quick and show her off to you guys. So Incredible is just an amazing extreme reverse Oka tea high white. Lee Abbott had a hard time letting this girl go and she doesn't eat off the tongue so I'm going to show you exactly how I feed her. 
So what I do, I put this hide upside down, leave the pinky just like that. And every time I come back, the pinky's gone in her belly. Just really, really shy when it comes to eating, but as long as she's eating, that's all that matters. All right, guys, so take a look at this next girl, female number nine. I believe she's going in the Colorado area. I gotta double check. And this is a beautiful, beautiful female from the Extreme Abbots Okati of Paprika and Riddler. Really nice and bold markings. A little zigzag going towards the middle. Just an amazing looking girl, super calm. So there she is. She might be a little nervous because I took her out, but there's the pinky. Let's see if she goes for it. Boom. So I'm here with this female that I held back from Paprika's clutch. These are all from the same clutch that I'm showing you today. Look how amazing she is. I wasn't planning on holding any females back. I have a lot of beautiful Extreme Abbott's Okatees, but this girl is just something else. Her depth in her band is so, so intense, more so than any other in my collection, and I'm happy to say that I produced her, so I'm gonna hold her back and hopefully work on making even more extreme Abbott's Oka teas. We're gonna feed her. We're gonna feed her real quick. Really, really good eater. And you know what? She's growing a little bit quicker than the rest. So she's gonna be a big girl. You know, you gotta love those big girls. So I got the pinky right here by the Million Dollar Man and Macho Man. I got a nice wrestling collection, action figures. They hang out on my rack. And there she goes. I think she's interested. Or is she interested in the million dollar man? I'm not sure. She goes, she's starting to smell the pinky. I think she's gonna go for it. A little nervous, whoa, you got it. And you know what? I think I just named this female. I didn't have a name for her, but because her saddles are so separated from each other, they're really far apart and wide and the coloration kind of reminds me a little bit of a Burmese python. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly like a Burmese python, but she just reminds me of one with her nice band. So I'm going to name this girl Burmese. So this is one of my holdbacks from that same clutch, Paprika and Riddler. And ever since a baby, I had this ram skull in the bin with this guy because I knew I was going to hold him back. So I put the skull in there just to remind me. So I decided to name this guy Ramses. So I put Ramses in this deli cup so you can get a better look at him. The lighting's a little bit better up here. I got that nice pinky. Boom, got it. So one of the main reasons why I decided to hold this guy back was because he has a really unique broken up looking pattern. It's not uniform like all of the other Okatees and he's got really nice extreme bold markings. If you look at his tail, there's no maroon red in those saddles. It's solid black. Usually that happens as they get older and older. He's already got it as a baby. So as an adult, I can't imagine how intense and bold he's going to look. So for those of you who love California king snakes, take a look at this girl right here. This girl's name is Dottie. I'm sure you can guess why I named her that. 
and look how amazing she is. Beautiful, crisp, clean whites. That patterning on top looks like someone painted it right on her, but nobody did. This is a real snake that came out looking just like this, so beautiful. And the belly, pure, pure white. Raising this girl up, hopes to breed her in a couple of years and produce some more amazing looking Cali Kings like this one. Now, she's usually really aggressive when it comes to feeding, but she's super calm. I can hold her, she's not gonna bite me. But uh, let's give her a nice warm fuzzy. So, whoa, oh, she didn't get it. Whoa, there she is. I told you she's aggressive when it comes to feeding. You saw right there. She couldn't even attack it on the first try. She was just going everywhere. She just wanted to bite something. She would have probably ate me if she had the chance. Boom. Boom. I gotta show you my beautiful honey right here. This girl's name is Zelda. She struck off camera. I got her from Walter Smith. And you can see towards the tail still gray. Her whole body was almost like that when I got her, but it's yellowing up. Gotta find this girl, a beautiful male. Still on the search. Beautiful honey female. One of my favorite corn snakes and probably my favorite of the yellow corn snakes. Just beautiful. So up next is Phoenix, my beautiful fire stripe from none other than Sean Nyland at VMS Herps. And let's see if she's hungry. She's looking at that fuzzy. Whoa! Uh, she scared me. That was like a little jump scare. So let me collect her, put her back in her bin. Give you guys a look at that belly. Look at that beautiful, beautiful belly. I love the contrast of colors. Here's her husband, Phoenix Blood Red from Don Sutterberg at South Mountain Reptiles. Let's see if he's hungry. Oh yeah, he's looking at it. He's gonna go for it. Boom! Yeah. So check out these beautiful anneries from ECW, Eric Westmoreland. Boom, these guys have a strong, strong appetite, really strong. Give you guys a close look. Eric Westmoreland produces some amazing, amazing snakes. Look at that yellow coming in on the bottom of this annery. It almost looks green on camera, but it's really yellow. I don't know why the color looks like that, but it actually looks beautiful either way. And now that I'm looking at it off the camera, it looks a little greenish yellow. Really, really beautiful snake right here. Look at that head stamp. Now for the male. Let's see, whoa! <laughs> I was gonna say, let's see if the male is hungry. Just beautiful, beautiful anneries. And these were super black as babies. Those saddles were jet black. So can't wait to produce some babies from this pairing. All right, so I had fun with you guys. I still have a lot more snakes to feed. I might record some more and make a second feeding video. Now this is Autumn, my female palmetto corn snake. Look how beautiful she is. And now she's climbing my face. Check out that amazing, amazing head stamp. That's what caught my eye about her, and I had to buy her. I'm glad she's added to the collection. Guys, want a corn snake? Not sure what snake to get for your kids? Non-aggressive snake? Corn snakes are perfect. I don't know if you can do this with a lot of other type of snakes, but these corn snakes, they're just so relaxed. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here, and then I'm gonna go make a nice dinner for myself. I'm just glad I was able to hang out with you guys for a little bit, do a little feedings, and give some of those amazing people that purchased those amazing snakes a little update 
and show them what their snakes are looking like. So me and Autumn are gonna go and I'll catch you guys in the next one.